We continue to take a look at the best football players in Montana's history this summer. The MT Top 40 for the next eight weeks, breaking it down position by position. Every Monday you meet number five and we count our way up to the number one at the position group come Friday. We'll also introduce some honorable mentions that were discussed as we take our trek around the state. You met number five in the defensive backs on Monday. That former Baker Montana Grizzly standout Shan Schillinger got his shot at the National Football League. At number four, we come to the Capital City, a former Helena Capital standout who just may be the best safety to ever come out of Montana, at least one of the most highly recruited former Helena Capital star, Greg Carruthers. Perhaps not as widely recognizable as others on our defensive backs list, Carruthers was considered one of the best high school safeties to ever come out of Big Sky Country. Check out the stats. Two-time first-team All-State selection at Helena Capital in your 1999 Class AA Defensive MVP. That's when the Bruins went undefeated, beating Billings West in the State AA Championship game 53-24. Carruthers, who also starred in basketball and track, had 86 tackles, four interceptions, seven sacks, and six blocked kicks his senior year of high school. He stood out right away. He, he was such a tremendous athlete, um, but he had it all. You know, and that, that's what made him a great football player. Not, not just his athletic ability, um, but he had a linebacker mentality. He, play, he played defensive back as a nasty, nasty hitter. And he was a, a, one of those relentless players that, that played from the snap all the way to the whistle. And um, obviously a great leader for their program. But he, he was a tr tremendous kid to coach against and to watch play against other opponents. One of the top recruits in the nation at that safety position. He continued his career at the University of Washington, getting on the field 11 times as a freshman, actually starting the final three at strong safety. Rivals.com actually named him a freshman All-American, and by his sophomore season, Greg Carruthers was a full-time starter back there in the secondary of the Huskies. Started every single game in the 2001 season and finished second on the team with 72 total tackles. He did miss one game with an injury his junior year, but still finished with 84 total tackles and was named honorable mention All-Pac-10. Team captain his senior season, Carruthers moved from safety to outside linebacker, had 57 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, and also knocked down four sacks, had a pair of interceptions and one fumble return for which he returned for a touchdown. In his career, Carruthers totaled 240 tackles, 23 and a half for loss, had seven sacks, four fumble recoveries, and three interceptions with the Huskies. Once he got to wherever he was going, it didn't matter, just mostly because of his work ethic. He had a great work ethic, and um, you know, you, you just watched that through high school and, and watched him compete in track and compete in football, and, and he, he was a great competitor. So you knew no matter where he went, he was going to be as good as he could be, and that, that's exactly what he did at Washington. Carruthers also had his chances playing some professional football. First training camp with the San Francisco 49ers, that was in 2004, and then it was on to NFL Europe. His best season, 58 tackles, two forced fumbles, and one interception. He also served stints with the Arizona Cardinals and the Buffalo Bills. He had that great frame, you know, uh, obviously he was, he was such a well-built kid, well weight-roomed and weight-trained over there. And then again, he, you know, he ran track. He, he was a, a great track athlete. He was a hurdler and he was a great hurdler. And, um, but he, you know, that obviously allowed him and, and enhanced his speed. And, and, and then when he got there, you just knew he was going to put weight on that frame. And like I said, in high school, he was a linebacker playing safety. And, and that was one of the reasons I know that, you know, they had him back there because they could get him different places on the field and not lock him into just one side of the football field. Make sure and tune in again on Wednesday. That's the 4th of July. We'll introduce you to the number three defensive back in Montana's history as we continue counting them down toward Friday, number one, and your honorable mentions. Richie Melby, MTN Sports.